So my evening generally starts once I've finished putting my kids to bed at around 7 o'clock. I absolutely love lighting candles at this time of the year and this one in particular smells like cinnamon and Christmas and it smells incredible. I love lighting candles, just the ambience that they create can be amazing, but I don't tend to have them on during the day, obviously because of the kids it can be quite dangerous. The next thing that I love to do is I love to get a drink and some snacks and I just like to chill out for a bit. A long day with the kids can be really exhausting so I just grab a J2O, grab some cashew nuts and I just sit on my sofa and chill out with Rob for a little while. I always generally tend to have snacks in the evening because it's one of the only times I get to have a snack without someone saying, Mum, can I have one? There's nothing better than getting rid of your shoes at the end of a long day. So I take off my boots and cross my legs on the sofa and get super, super comfy. While I'm just chilling out and unwinding, it's a great time for me to catch up with my friends as well and catch up on messages on WhatsApp and text messages. Now it's time for me to start our dinner, so I just preheat the oven for mine and mum's dinner. I fed the kids earlier on, but I wanted to wait for Ron to get home from work so I could eat with him. And I'm just popping us some curries in the oven for a cheeky cook dinner tonight. And while the dinner is cooking, I tend to get on with some of my wife duties. Ron's watching the telly, so I'm just ironing his shirt for his early shift the next day. There is absolutely nothing better than a nice toasty hot dinner on a cozy night like this. The candles are lit, the food's on its way. I absolutely love this kind of winter evening in. And just in case you're wondering, I went for a tikka masala. And then me and Ron just sit on the sofa, being a bit lazy, just sit on the sofa, watching some telly, and yeah, just really trying to relax and unwind. So dinner's eaten, my washing up's been done, and now I'm gonna do my skincare routine and take off all my makeup. So first I'm just tying my hair back in a loose ponytail just to get all of my hair out of my face. And then I'm just gonna use a bandana just to scoop back all of the little baby hairs off of my forehead as well. Now taking off my makeup is of course super, super important. So I like to go in with some eye makeup remover first and I like to get all of my mascara and my eye makeup off. And then I'll go in afterwards generally with um, a micellar water and I like to then cleanse all of my face makeup off as well. Um, I do use a lot of makeup. Like I don't really have like minimalistic makeup. It's either no makeup or a ton of makeup. So when I do wear makeup, it tends to be quite a lot. So it's super important to remove all of it. I then like to go in with an exfoliator. This one from Nip and Fab is so, so good. Um, I, of course, do have a more in-depth skin routine than this that I do one or two days a week, and I will link that video for my full skin routine in the cards up above in case you wanted to check out my full skincare routine. But this is generally what I do on a day-to-day -day evening um, when I'm just trying to get rid of my makeup sort out my skin and get to bed. Now of course we can't forget our Primark lip scrub to exfoliate our lips 
And as I'm running my bath, I also love to put on a face mask. This one is super hydrating and really, really nice. And I will just leave it on for the half an hour, 20 minutes, however long I'm in the bath for. And um, I'll just leave it on as I'm doing that. Now, no autumn or winter evening is complete without a bubble bath. And I use this Rainbow Rules Bath Fizzer from Holler and Glow. And in all honesty, I was so disappointed with the color. I thought it would be so pretty and rainbow, but it all sort of merged as a brown. Um, and the bubbles weren't great. So I added a bubble bath to it as well. I used this Imperial Leather Mermazing one and it made the bubbles amazing. And also I just lighted a few little candles to go around the bath as well. After my bath, I washed off my face mask and got into some comfy pajamas. Now it's time for the ultimate hot chocolate. I add two marshmallows to my favourite mug, which says Dream Big, and I'm absolutely obsessed with this cup. It makes me so happy to read it. I then add some Cadbury hot chocolate powder to some heated milk, and then I whisk that all together to make the hot chocolate. I then add it to the cup with the marshmallows already inside. Then I add some dairy spray cream. This one tried to escape, but I got him back inside, don't you worry. To this, I add some chocolate sauce on top. And then I crumble some McVitie's digestive biscuits on top. And this has to be one of my favorite hot chocolate creations I've ever made. Now, while I'm drinking my amazing hot chocolate, I fit in a little bit of studying in the evenings. I am currently reading about the UK constitution, in case any of you are wondering. But yeah, I try to fit in a little bit of reading and research into my evening as well. Now when looking after the two boys during the day, I don't tend to find a lot of time to do things for myself. So the evening time just before bed is the perfect time for me to sort out my nails, give them a quick file, apply my false nails because you know, I love to wear my false nails. Um, yeah, so I just find these little times in the evening the perfect time to get all of this kind of little pampery things done for myself so that I'm fresh and ready for the morning ahead. Now, if I have time, I will paint my nails as well. I love to wear burgundies and golds around this time of year. I think it's really, really seasonal and amazing. And then, of course, as I do every night, I will brush my teeth just as I'm getting ready for bed. Then I'll finish off with a nice healthy dose of mouthwash do a bit of gargling, love that. And then last but not least, I will put on my favorite lip balm from Sport FX. I am obsessed with it. It makes my lips so amazing when I wake up the next day. And the last thing I like to do in the evening as I'm in bed, I like to just quickly scroll through my phone, scroll through Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I also double check my YouTube to make sure I haven't missed any comments because I love replying to every single comment that you guys give me. So I'm always double checking that I haven't missed anyone's messages or comments. And yeah, then I will quickly scroll through my emails and just double check any emails as well. And this is sort of what I do every single night. I just find it easy and refreshing to finish the evening like this. And then of course I will pop on my eye mask and go to sleep. Good night.